hello everyone welcome back so today um, I have come up with a one more new topic uh, that is uh, basically this is the going to be the start uh, of a complete uh, new series so uh, today I'm going to discuss about talker okay so obviously talker is there for you know long time and uh, every one is aware of it and a very very well-known product in the market so but why exactly I'm talking now so the thing is that there are very uh, many things which uh, you are going to do uh, when you have that exposure towards it uh, that means I have uh, started working with Docker almost around 2014 okay got to know about it so 2015 onwards I have started into it so basically you know very deeply like uh, that means uh, if you search anything on the Google you won't get it <laughs> So I'm that old with Docker. So uh, that means uh, I have, uh, they have introduced overlay. Yes, I was there. They have introduced a move from the container D. I was there. Uh, they have, you know, uh, even they have moved, means, I mean, introduced the uh, Docker Enterprise. I was there. I was fund of their, I mean, basically their UCP, Unified Control Plane or Universal uh, Control Plane, which they call it as uh, Docker Enterprise that time. And uh, they sold it to Mirantes at the moment. And uh, that is known as Mirantes Kubernetes Engine. So that is also my one of the best product or best product or best. Uh, thing which I have used even their DTR one of the offerings amazing offerings and uh, the docker support whatever uh, usually we got that is also amazing so why this video uh, basically I got a you know m1 chip Mac and there I installed the you know Mac OS 12 so as it is a completely new then I thought okay let's go ahead and install docker desktop on that and uh, let's do the rest of the things you know uh, go ahead with the complete docker desktop uh, the offerings whatever they wanted to give how cool it is how flexible it is uh, and also with that uh, you know this will be a nice thing for me to get started with so with that without any further delay let's go ahead and let's get started how do you install or is there any problems uh, you know I'm, I'm going to face if if is that any uh, with uh, Mac OS 12 which is latest and greatest and beta version from the Apple and uh, as well as in a Apple M1 chip let's get started okay so as you know nothing so you can go ahead and you can you know just uh, go to the uh, their site and uh, you can download it this is also I am going to do that so this is the new uh, Safari so I am going ahead with uh, docker I'm just going to search docker that's all so the moment when I put docker so going to the products docker desktop and Apple with Apple chip so I'm just going to download it and uh, mac with apple chip so that is is gonna download it's going to take some time and uh, once it is being ready we are going to install and uh, nothing much we'll just run it and we will uh, close the session so the basically the idea is to see whether is there any problem or uh, you know it is working how exactly it is working in the mac os 12 with uh, apple chip all right so it is gonna take some more time so it is downloading at the moment 18 seconds uh, ping you know i mean basically <laughs> it is decreasing as i say or as i you know mention so let it be so yeah seven seconds more okay all right it is there i just clicked on that okay so all right let's go ahead and drag and drop 
and uh, yep it started working so 1.57 GB of space it is going to occupy on my disk so let it go so 10 seconds more all right it is installing till now no booms all thing is good all right okay cool it is installed and i can go to the applications to verify all right so where is here it is docker i just clicked on that and uh, it is starting it is going to ask me the form of the permissions i have to provide the you know password for it okay so i don't think it should ask me but i'm not sure why it is not been asked and so it, it's you know started uh, you know running or started working so let's get started let's see okay so it is started warming up uh, i don't have any control on that so yep all right it is right there in front of you you know it is working flawlessly in just seconds it is up and running so docker demon is already it is uh, pumping up or maybe warming up let's give some time so they have installed uh, you know dev environments okay all right so right now all the things are being ready so i'm i'm just going ahead copying it and i'm opening the terminal and uh, just going to paste it over there run it it is not having that image locally as you can know it is completely fresh installed so it is going to pull up that image and it is going to run it all right it started running i can go uh, to the this thing and uh, i can check local host and it is running with port 80. all right so the problem is l-o-c-a-l local l-o-c-a-c-a-l local host colon 80 all right so as you can see it is coming from my local machine it is running flawlessly okay so this is what exactly we are talking about what we did we installed the docker uh, desktop on apple m1 chip and it is installed flawlessly there was no problem but make sure it is an arm processor that means if you wanted to run something on the x86 uh, you know application then that means you have to change your build parameters how do you do that build kit it is already there so i think uh, next time right and deep dive on docker desktop hit like and you know let me know how do you think about this video and if you are more and more want to know please comment and let me know what you want to see on the next episodes thank you bye bye